Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, August 27, 2009. This morning I'd like to take a look at how you can make things a little easier in terms of saving new user interfaces and making sure they go to the package you want them to go to. I'll give you an example, I've created a package called Foo. I brought up the GUI builder. I'm going to go ahead and just drop something simple into this, like, I don't know, let's drop a label in here. So we'll just do that and then we'll install this. Not terribly exciting, but you'll get the idea. We're going to call this Foo UI. Hit OK. Hit OK. And do that. Now what we'll do is we'll go and browse Foo UI. Oh, browse the whole interface. And you'll notice something interesting about this. If we go back out of Hierarchy View and into Package, you'll find that it landed in None, which is probably not what we want. At this point we would have to select this and do a move all the package foo and there it would move it. Now that works but it's probably not really what we want. So you can see over here if I select off and on you'll see that it's in there now. But let's go ahead and do this kind of the right way. What we're going to do is we're going to close this user interface. We're going to open up a new one and before I get there I'm going to pick one option here in this package. I'm going to right click its context I'm going to pick set as current, which will make this namespace the current one. So any new classes that get generated will now by default drop into that namespace instead of, you know, into none or wherever they would otherwise go. So let's go ahead and create a label and we'll call this class, let's go ahead and install this, we'll call this foo2ui and we'll hit OK and we'll install this guy and now we'll go ahead and hit browse bring the browser up over here into the view, go to package view, and you can see that instead of landing in none, it now landed in foo. So it's landed where I expected it, instead of somewhere off in the left field where I don't really want it. So that's the thing to keep in mind. If you want to do this, you need to set a package as current, and then you need to necessarily change that current depending on what work you're doing. So it's something you need to keep in mind if you want to make sure that any generated classes land where you expect them to. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.